Hi, my biology kiddos. It's Mrs. Kitson, and I want to show you um, how to get to your course. So when your teachers say, go into your course, go into lesson 1.01, um, go get your assignment, log into your assignment, this is where you're going to end up. So this is the Indiana Digital Learning School. When you log into school, you'll see this. And then you're going to go ahead and click on classes and you're going to want to click on whichever class you happen to be working on. So we're going to click on biology and it will bring you to the biology class home page. And you should have one of these home pages for each of your courses. So if you're like, whoops, I clicked on the wrong class, you can just click on this little house again. It will take you back to the Indiana Digital Learning School home page, click on classes, and then pick the class that you want to uh, log into. There's another tricky way to do that. You can just click on these boxes up here and you can switch classes that way. So if you need to switch from a biology class to your math class, there all of your classes will also be listed here when you click on these little boxes. All right, so the class homepage has everything, just about everything you need to um, manage your course to see what you have to do each day. So every day you're going to want to log into your um, D2L, you're going to want to check your class plan for each class. Okay, so I'm going to click on plan and that's going to kind of give me my agenda for the day. And we're going to pretend that today is Friday, August 7th. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click where it says bio and I get this little box and I can read what's in the little box if I scroll down here, but it's kind of small. So I like to click on more to open up the whole thing. And it opens up the whole agenda for Friday, August 7th. It shows you what we learned in the last class. It's going to show you what you're learning in today's class connect session. And it's also going to show you what assignment you have to do today. Um, so again, how did I get here? I clicked on class plan. I clicked on the day of the week, I opened it up with more, and I can see what we're learning in class today, and I can see what assignment is also due today. So when I'm in my class plan and I'm getting ready for class, I'm going to want to make sure I actually read the lesson that we're covering. So I go ahead and I open up 1.01 .01, Biology Introduction and I get a blank page, which really doesn't do us any good, right? <laughs> so what you're going to want to do is uh, open up this little pancake button here, click on that, and you're going to see two things. You're going to see a section that says learn, and then you're going to see a section that might say exit ticket or CRQ or assessment. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is click on learn, and it'll show you two or three items here that you have to work your way through. So if I click on what is biology, it's going to take me to a page um, with some information that I have to read, study, learn, take notes, right? And that's it. It's just one page. So I read this little paragraph and I'm like, yay, I finished this. Check it off. Bam. Now I'm going to go to the next item under learn where, where it says why we study biology. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read through this. It's just two paragraphs. Yay. What you might not be able to see is down here. It actually says page one of two. So this is page one and it says page one of two. So I must click on to the next page and I would read that as well. When I get to page two of two, I know I'm done with this little section. So then I click on the explore biology here. So whatever's here, you've got to click your way through and read. Now, whenever you see the explore sections, that's the meat and potatoes of the lesson. Okay, so this is really where the content is. This is really where all the stuff is that you have to stick into your brain. So I'm going to click on explore biology and it's going to bring me to, you know, page one down here. It might be hard for you to see, but it actually says page one of four. So I would read page one and then click to page two. If I have to scroll down, I have to scroll down and read through the whole thing. All right. So that's page two of four. Go to page three, just kind of a, some helpful hints on how to navigate the course. And then I have to go to page four, 
and a little bit more information um, on that last page of the explore section. Now, yes, there's two paragraphs here, and yes, you have to read both, learn it, take notes. But if you see a link, you also need to click on the link because it's there for a reason. So if I click on this link, I get this crazy concept map that goes over the whole semester of the course, which we'll talk more about when we're actually in class on Friday. But my point is, I don't expect you to memorize this whole link right now. But what I want you to do is just know that when you're in your course and you're reading your lessons, if there's a link there, it's there for a reason. It's important. Okay, so if you get through the learn section, right, you'll see these little check marks when you get through them. The next part you'll see is some sort of assessment. I would not click on that until we meet for class because usually we'll do the assessment in class or at the end of class and so you, you're probably going to want to wait till we get to class to do any assessment unless you missed class in which case you can go ahead and click on it and it will take you to um, it will take you to the assessment. This assessment is not a live link yet so it won't take me there now but you would be able to click on it and it would take you to your lesson. So again, uh, how did I get here? Let me go back to my class plan. If Remember, if you get lost, if you're not sure where you are, just go to class home, back to class plan, back to today, and that'll tell you what's going on for today. So I clicked on 1.01 biology introduction. I clicked on the little pancake. I clicked on learn. It tells me what I have to read through, study, take notes, and then it tells me if I have any assignments. Now I can click right here where it says back to content. And this is just the content section. It's just another way to get to your lessons. Um, so back from the home page, if you were to click on content, and you knew you happened to be doing lesson 1.01 for the day, you could scroll down, um, go to the uh, unit one, click on 1.01, which is your lesson for the day, and click on learn, and it'll take you to those same three um, sections that you had to, had to study. So you can get there through your class plan, and you can also get through, get there through the content link. So since we're here in content, let me show you some of the other stuff here under the content tab. Um, there's an overview of the course. You can take the time on your own to look through this. Uh, bookmarks you can skip. Course schedule is just another version of the class plan. It's helpful. You can use it. If I click on it, it shows me what we're doing right on each day. So course schedule is good. Table of contents you can skip. Start here is just um, some simple stuff that you can read, read through on your own. I don't want to waste time here going through it. Um, and then of course you'll see all the units that we're going to cover. You can't see unit two yet because we haven't started unit two. Uh, so you'll only see the units that we're working on or have worked on. Um, something else I want to show you, if you're in content and you notice the lessons might skip a number. So lesson 1.01, lesson 1.02, lesson 1.03, 104, 106. You'll notice 105 isn't here. That happens often. Um, lessons will be redundant or we don't need them. So we take them out as teachers, we take them out. Um, so if you see numbers missing, that's okay. Totally normal. So that was, um, all of this information is under the content tab. So let's go back to class home. I want to show you um, this section here. It says today's class connect sessions. There's nothing here now because it's Monday, August 3rd, and I didn't have any sessions today. But um, you will see all of your class connect sessions. Like when you go to class and talk with your teacher and talk with your classmates, um, there will be links here with the time and the name of the class. And if you just follow this schedule every day, you'll always be in the right class at the right time. So this is a pretty important section as well. Uh, let's scroll down here to class announcements. Always important as well. If it's here, there's a reason. I don't put anything here that doesn't need to be here. Um, so make sure you take the time to do number one, number two, number three, which is what you're doing right now, watching this video, um, four and five. Make sure you try to get that done 
as soon as possible. Again, I put stuff here in the class announcements only because I have to, because it's important, right? So if it's here, do it, read it, study it, watch it, learn it, whatever it says to do, you need to take care of it. And yeah, that's me being silly right there. Also next to your class announcements, you can see your class plan again. So you can get to your plan for the day here and you can get to your plan for the day here. So if it was Friday, August 7th, I could scroll down, click on Friday, August 7th, and guess where it would bring me? Right back to that same page that tells us what lesson we're covering today and what assignment we have to do today. All right, so class home, always important. Class plan, always important. Content, always important. Like if your teacher says, hey, I want you to check something out in lesson 1.06, you just click on content, unit one, scroll down to 106. And you can see there's the learn section and it tells you what you have to read. Remember, those explore sections are the meat and potatoes of the lesson. And then another important link here is the grades tab. If you click on grades, it'll take you to your grade book. You can see what you got on your assignments. You can see if you're missing any assignments. You can see your overall grade for the course. So another important link. So back to class home, plan, content, grades. Those are the four uh, links that are going to kind of make your life easier when you're navigating through D2L or your courses. Class home, plan, content, grades. Again, you can switch classes by clicking on these boxes. So if I wanted to switch to my chemistry class, I could just click right here, click on chemistry. Um, if you want to go to your class connect sessions, right, you have to go to class every day and to go to class, you'll have a list of your classes right here and you can just go ahead and click on them. And then if you click on this little house, it'll take you back to the Indiana Digital homepage. You can look at your class connect schedule and then all of your courses to find your assignments and your lessons. And that is all of the stuff I wanted to show you to get you started.